Hola YouTube and mom. Um, so, <laughs> this gonna sound silly, but this video was requested by my mother. Um, so I am doing it mainly for her and for anybody else that needs this information. But I know um, she's new in makeup, which I have roped her into that, um, which is fun. But one other question she asks me, uh, semi-frequently, or I know that she has on her mind, is what color eyeshadow should I wear with what outfit, and I really never had thought of that much before, um, <laughs> honestly, um, I don't know if it's the, I don't mean this to sound like I'm bragging, but I don't know if it's the artist in me or what have you, but I just never think about what color I should do with this, so, I thought I would do something or uh, talk about how to pick colors to go with outfits or, or what works with what. So, of course, the basic is a neutral eye is always going to go with everything. I mean, um, your browns and grays and any of those neutral colors, even some, I would say, like uh, muted greens or, mm, I'm trying to think really muted blues, I have a color wheel right here, um, anything like that, well muted colors will pretty much go with anything, um, and it also, it really depends on your personality, um, and where you're going, if you're going to church, you're not going to want to do bright colors, you know, I'm wearing a blue top, I wouldn't wear, you know, like my nail polish color blue eyeshadow all over my, you know, lid or what have you if I was going to church, but I might if I was going to the mall. Um, I don't really match my my eyeshadow to my clothes. Like I don't wear blue eyeshadow if I'm wearing a blue top. Um, I kind of go with what I think complements my eyes that day, which I know sounds a little weird, but you know I have hazel eyes, so I wear a lot of which mom I know you do too. Um, so I wear a lot of purples and greens and neutrals and grays, um, sometimes a little blue, but more on the purpley side of the blue or the gray side of blue. So um, those are always a good go-to color. Um, if you are feeling, what is the word, um, if you are feeling like daring or, or loud, your personality or just outgoing that day, you can always do um, I like doing colors that are the complementary color of the color that I'm wearing sometimes if I really just want it to stand out. So, um, with that, if you don't know how to figure that out already, um, let's see, I'll put here. you just look at any color wheel, which I'm sure if you type in color wheel on Google or what have you, you'll find a, a simpler version of this. But a complementary color is just the opposite. Let's see if I can do this, Julie. Is the opposite color on the color wheel. Okay. So I can't draw a straight line looking in the computer screen, but so the opposite of the red violet would be the yellow green. So opposite of purple is yellow, opposite of orange is blue, opposite of um, red is green, and yeah, so just go straight across and, and that would be the opposite. So for this blue top, I could always do like shades of yellow and orange and that would really, you know, be very vibrant. Blah, blah, vibrant. Um, but I would say that's for the younger crowds to do. Um, so I don't even know if... <laughs> I would do that so much I might mute that down a little bit and put some grays over it, some brown to, to mute it down but still have that color under it. Um, or you can always do, like if you're wearing a blue top, that's in the cool color family. Um, cool is like your greens to your cool purple. So it's all of this upper part right here. So it's, you know, kind of your yellow green, green, blue, to your blue violet, and then um, you have your warm tone colors, which are 
your yellow, you know, your bright yellow, orange, um, red, and your red violet. So if you're wearing blue, you just kind of, if you are one that likes to match, uh, so that you're not too matchy-matchy, you could always do, um, if you have a blue top, maybe do a purple or green eye, but not like green, do like an olive green or um, maybe like a cranberry or raspberry purple, muted down with some grays, stuff like that. So it's really, so basically if you want to keep it, if you're trying to be, let's see, what's the word? If you're not trying to be too loud with your makeup, keep it with neutrals, you know, a very muted, you know, any muted colors, uh, olive green or um, grayed blues or uh, the real dark purples for your outer crease or anything like that. If you're trying to be very bold and out there, then you can do complementary colors. So that would be the opposite of the color wheel. So if you're doing purple, you would do um, a, a yellow, um, which would be very bold. Um, but if you're trying to be bold and just be out there, then you do complementary colors. And if you're trying to do something a little bit more fun but not neutral completely, you can always do the same color family or the, the same um, undertone. I can't think of the word, but you can do all cool. So if you're wearing cool colors, do a cool base color on your eye. And if you're doing warm colors on your, then you do the warm based colors on your why can I get that there? on your eyes. So that is what I would recommend. I hope I covered everything. I think I did. I will try to put a link to a color wheel in the sidebar. Where is it? There we go. Sidebar over here and um, for you to look at to help out. So um Leave any questions if you have any down in the, the comments below and um, comment for me. I would love to know what you thought of, of my perspective of things and um, rate and subscribe. Thank you. Bye.